Hey guys, Chain Gear here bringing you another video, and this time we are reviewing the Tactical Assault Rifle for Blacklight Retribution on the PlayStation 4. Let's get started. So before we get into my actual recommendation, why don't we just take a look at the stats. As you guys can see, this weapon's pretty strong at 62 points of damage, but the fire rate is actually the lowest within the game out of automatic weapons, at 450 points. And that is, like I said, very low. It's probably one of the most noticeable things about the gun. But the second most noticeable thing is probably the recoil. The recoil on this gun makes it jump all over the place. So even though you guys may look at the spread and say, well, 0.8 is pretty good, anything really below one degree of spread is, is pretty manageable. That recoil makes the gun bounce all over the place, and even though it's accurate wherever it bounces to, it's pretty hard to handle. Um, but that doesn't necessarily make the gun worthless. Why don't we go ahead and compare it to a couple other guns? Let's take a look at the assault rifle, the first assault rifle that we all begin with. As you can see, the damage is less on the assault rifle at 50, but the fire rate is a little bit faster at 200 points higher at 650. So it's definitely a little bit more than a little bit. Um, but what exactly does that mean? Nothing else on the gun is different besides the recoil, which definitely makes the gun a lot more manageable and a lot more accurate. But what does this firepower mean? Well, let's just do a quick math problem. If we take 200, which I would just say is the average amount of health that uh, a player has sure you can have 150 or you can have 250 or anywhere in between but let's just take 200 for now and we divide it by four meaning how many shots or how much damage do you have to do to kill someone in four shots the answer to that um, is obviously 50 right so the assault rifle takes four shots to kill the average player but how much does it take to kill someone in three shots? So, for example, if you look at the uh, the sniper rifle, the bolt action, it obviously takes one shot because it can't, well, it can take one shot if you do a max damage build. Um, but how much does it take to do three shots? Well, if we do 200 divided by three, we get 66.6, .6, which for our standards means 67 points of damage to kill someone or the average player in three shots. So we have a bit of a threshold. Anywhere between 50 to 66.5 means that you will kill them in four shots. You have to get to a damage output of 66.6 .6 or 67 to kill someone in three shots, meaning that the tactical assault rifle will kill someone at the same speed if their fire rate was the same because it would still take four shots to kill a player. That is not the case. The fire rate is at 450 on the tactical assault rifle, making it a lot slower of a weapon, meaning that you will kill someone slower than someone with a normal assault rifle. And that is really important to tell, because that means to me, if I'm facing people with, if everyone on a team has a whole bunch of TARs or tactical assault rifles, and I have an assault rifle, I have a better chance at killing my opponent than they have of killing me. But of course, that is not how this game is played. There are tons of different weapons, in tons of different situations, and tons of different builds. So before we get into, you know, is the gun really worth it, let's take a look at the heavy assault rifle. Now, obviously, the heavy assault rifle is a lot closer in terms of its stats um, when we talk about uh, the tactical assault rifle. So the heavy assault rifle has the same damage output in terms of damage alone at 62, which, again, is extremely high. Um, but when we look at fire rate, there is 500 points of fire rate. And that makes a considerable difference because, again, if I have a HAR, a heavy assault rifle, and you guys all have TARS and we're fighting each other, well, again, I have a higher chance of killing you than you have of killing me. But if we look at the rest of the stats on the gun, uh, the ammo is lower. Uh, it takes me a longer time to reload. Um, fortunately, my aim and my... Um, uh, recoil is going to be better uh, than the tactical assault rifle, um, but your move uh, re your move spread and your hip spread is a little bit smaller, so maybe people with the tactical assault rifle could have an advantage um, if we were moving around and we weren't scoping in, uh, which happens a lot in this game. 
Also, the tactical assault rifle is faster in terms of movement speed, which means you can get to a position faster and start firing faster if you get to the, you know, the point before someone else does. And I think that that's important. Um, as you guys can see, you guys saw the stats, you guys saw the differences between the assault rifle and heavy assault rifle. Feel free to go back and pause the screen if you want to kind of do a little bit of math yourself. But I think this is a good enough time for me to make a recommendation. If you're new at this game, there's really no reason for you to leave the average assault rifle. The, the first weapon in the game, the assault rifle, is fantastic. A lot of people say it's the best weapon in the game. Um, it's extremely balanced. You guys saw its um, uh, the, the spread from its aim spread and its recoil is very, very manageable. Um, it's attack. It takes four shots to kill anyone. And you can always bump up the attack just in case someone has a little bit over um, you know 200 damage. You can change the reload speed. You can use speed. You can change the ammo count. So if you want more ammo, you can put two drum mags on it. That is not the case for the tactical assault rifle. The tactical assault rifle can really only change in a couple of different ways. And actually, let's look at that real quick. If we look at, let's say, how to get the tactical assault rifle to kill someone in three shots, I think that that's important to take a look at. Because if the damage output is going to be lower in terms of, uh, you know, being able to kill someone faster because of the fire rate, so the fire rate is slower at 450, if I can kill someone in three shots instead of four, well, then that means that maybe the gun is definitely a little bit worth it. So, I decided to create a max damage um, tactical assault rifle. And that happens to be... 67 points of damage, which is exactly what we need to kill someone in three shots. So that means if there's someone who has an assault rifle and there's someone who has a tactical assault rifle and we're on opposite sides of the map and I see you and I have a longer scope, well, I can get to a specific point and I can kill you in three shots. I mean, and granted, I mean, that's not necessarily a great way to think about it or look at it, but in terms of how to play with this weapon, there definitely is a way to do it. And I think that that is how you need to think about purchasing this weapon. If you want to change up your gameplay style, if you want to try something new, then go ahead and get the tactical assault rifle. I had a lot of fun playing with it, um, and, and you'll see a little bit about how I played, and I had a lot of fun trying this new gun, um, and I'll be playing with it in the near future, trying it out in different ways of trying to switch up my gameplay, um, and I think that that's the, the only reason you should really buy this gun. It's not competitive. If you're going to try and fight someone with an SMG or, or the assault rifle or even the heavy assault rifle, you're going to have a problem, competitively, of course. But if you're trying to play for fun or you want to try and play a little bit differently, go ahead and try this gun out. It's definitely a lot of fun um, in terms of trying to change the way you play. But, like I mentioned, the heavy assault rifle is going to give you some problems. And I say that because if we do max damage for a heavy assault rifle, it actually gets stronger than the tactical assault rifle. Instead of getting it 67 damage, we get 60, or sorry, we get 70 damage. And that is a little bit higher, <laughs> which means you can take out weapon, or you can take out people that have higher armor um, than you know someone who you know is using a tactical assault rifle. Um, and it still has a higher fire rate. It also is more accurate and has more range. Now they don't have the same run speed, so maybe you can dodge bullets a little faster or get to a specific spot a little bit faster, but. You know, the heavy assault rifle in general, personally, I would say is a little bit better. So if you don't have the heavy assault rifle, definitely invest in that first. And the tactical assault rifle, I would definitely lump into the category of um, I'm kind of bored with the game or I want to try something new. Um, but that's it in terms of the statistics of the weapons. Um, like I mentioned, uh, I did some practice rounds, actually. Um, these aren't, uh, you know, me going out into the actual game and trying to, um, you know, defeat my opponents or anything like that. I just wanted to try and get a feel for the gun. And so I played with the normal gun. I played with the normal assault rifle, uh, or the normal tactical assault rifle without any modifications. And let me show you how I did. So, to my surprise, using the normal, you know, average, without any modifications, tactical assault rifle, I was able to net 
37 kills uh, and only two deaths, which is pretty good for me. Uh, I normally get around 35 to uh, 40 kills uh, within um, practice mode, uh, and I normally have a pretty low amount of deaths, so this was pretty good. Um, now, granted, like I said, practice mode is not a great way to test, um, you know, how the gun will fare against other opponents, but it is a great way to get a good feel for the gun. Um, using GP to, to try out a gun or a gun part, um, you can get about 120 GP just from practice mode, so it's definitely worth giving practice mode a shot. Um, so, like I said, that was the normal without any modifications tactical assault rifle, and I did pretty well, but I wanted to know how well I would do if I built the weapons to my standards, so something that I would usually use, uh, and that means I was going to make it max damage. Not because I use max damage with all my weapons, but just because with the tar it means I can get that, you know, three shots and it'll kill the average player. So I decided to try and do a max damage build, and I of course put my three times zoom uh, Silverwood scope, and I mainly because I just love that scope, and I thought that maybe the distance would help me out. And it did. Um, I had 45 kills, which is a lot higher, um, and I only had one death. So I spawned, killed a whole bunch of people, died, and then I spawned again and killed a whole bunch more. Uh, and so that's a, a very, very low amount of deaths um, and a very high amount of kills. And so I was pretty happy about that. And, and to me, that made me feel like I could definitely handle this weapon. Um, and then, of course, I had to try uh, a CQC build. CQC, if you guys know me, is my favorite way to play in Blacklight Retribution. Um, so all I really did was change the scope to the Light Sky Reflex Sight, which is the green dot um and so i played a little bit with that and as you guys can see i got 43 kills and i got six deaths and that's an interesting number an interesting combination because 43 kills um is pretty high and uh, I died six times, but still got 43 kills, meaning I played less game time because I was busy dying and I had to respawn, and I still got 43 kills, only two kills less than when I had a longer scope. So this is pretty interesting. I'm not the greatest player in the world, uh, please don't think that I am, and there are way better players out there. Um, this video is actually made for uh, a friend of mine that I met in Blacklight. His name is Roman AW. He actually has a, uh, a YouTube channel, which I will leave in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Um, but he is a lot better of a player than I am. <laughs> and I feel as though if I'm doing this well in practice mode, then if you know if you go ahead and get the tactical assault rifle and you just want to try it out and have some fun with it, definitely go for it. If you're spending it, you know, Z coins on it and you don't already have you know the heavy assault rifle, um, or any of those other weapons, uh, you know, even even like the bullpup rifle or something like that. Go ahead and try those out first, maybe. Um, but the tactical assault rifle is definitely, I would say, used for fun or if you want to try a different play style. Um, so that's it for me, guys. Uh, that that's all. Uh, you know, if you guys can definitely stay a little bit longer, if you want to watch the rest um, of some of this gameplay. But otherwise, that's it from me. Uh, if you guys have anything you want to say in the comments below, maybe tell me another weapon that you want to uh, have reviewed, uh, a game that you guys want to see, uh, a new video type, uh, a, a challenge mode, a giveaway, whatever. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, and of course, you know, like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it. Um, please feel free to subscribe for more Blacklight content. Um, or of course, if you want to share it all over the internet, that way we can get more people involved in Blacklight. That would be helpful as well. So this is my video. I really hope you guys enjoy. And like always, I hope I see all of you online, and I hope I see you in the next one.